Hi guys, in a previous video, which I'll put a link to in the video description, I built up a circuit so I could try out this testing circuit for the TX2B and RX2B transmitter and receiver controller chips. That's the circuit that I built up. I only had RX2B chips, so I put them on the breadboard. The TX2B, which is the transmitter chip, I had to take apart this transmitter so I could wire into it and use it. Having done that, I also implemented the turbo feature, which the TX2B and RX2B chips have inbuilt into them, but on most of the cheap toy grade radio controlled cars they never implement it. So I've implemented it. I'm now going to take the circuit apart, but I'm going to fit that button about there, I should think, and then I'll have a little transmitter of my own that I can use the turbo feature on. It's only any good if you've got a car that's got the turbo feature implemented, but I haven't got a transmitter that does that, so it'll be handy for when I find these um, cheap cars in the charity shops and can't test all the features. So I'll take this apart and put this back together. Literally all I've done is this is just a spare momentary push switch that I've taken out of something or other and I've soldered, let's zoom in, that black wire is soldered directly to pin 6 on the TX2B uh, chip, go to the button, then the orange wire I've soldered directly to the negative rail, or ground rail. At the moment we've got an extra couple of wires on here that I've used to feed the power into this circuit board, but I'll take those off. We've got the red one there, and the blue one are taking the positive and negative and then that white one goes to pin 8 which is the signal output from the transmitter um, controller chip the TX2B so that one is fed directly into my RX2B chip at the moment well, I'll get rid of all that and we'll just be left with the extra button I'm rather pleased with that. I've left the wires on there that extend the battery earth and signal wire because they're on a nice little plug-ended lead there so I'll just leave them in case I want to do the same sort of thing again and the turbo button I've just cut that circuit board to fit and there we are right in the middle. So I'll put the cover back on and we've got an extra transmitter with a turbo button. Well there's the finished article with my button right in the middle there. All I need now is a car or anything else, boat, plane, that needs the turbo button to operate. I don't think I've got one at the moment, so we will have to wait.